Welcome back, guys, to another Arrivals of Shadows over Innistrad with the Gatewatch draft. Is this card any good? Whenever it attacks, you may pay X and a 1. If you do, make a bunch of 1-1s one at the end of your turn, X all those, unless you have the City's Blessing. This card feels good. I don't know what Jawbreaker is, but I assume it's a screening of the 1999 film wherein the beautiful members of a powerful high school click try to cover up their involvement in the accident. <laughs> Uh, that's close. That's close. Uh, I'm. I, I. I can't confirm that that is what it is. This is. This is the pick, right? I've never had this card before. This card seems good, though. You play this card in like turn ten, and then next turn you make eight guys, and it gives you the city's blessing automatically, so you don't have to. You don't have to lose. This card seems fantastic. I'm gonna be summoning all day. Oh, and we get past the needle tooth raptor. God, sometimes life is just like, hey, buddy. You got this. That little Mitch seems great. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if Mike had a rap name, it'd be Lil Mitch. And that would be amazing because he's a bigger guy. So it's funny when you have a big guy that's called Lil. Like Tiny or, you know, Smalls. Something like that. I feel like you're supposed to be working as the story of your life, Robert. Story of your life. You're going to have to only play third-person shooters on third. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, third-person shooter Thursday. Or we play the first-person shooters in third-person, which is worse because no one likes that. Oh, yeah, I needed to leave for work about 12 minutes ago. This is amazing. You guys' commitment to this stream is unparalleled. I can't even handle it. I think we're just going to keep the red cards because none of these other cards are very good. And we could be red, blue, red, black, or red, green, I think. So, I'm not sure. I think we're going to take this Pirate's Pillage. But. Uh, Avast Games, I will I will not only be, I'm, we're going to be playing it after this. I'm going to do a draft and then we're going to do a standard video, which is going to go up tomorrow on YouTube. So, if you haven't, if you missed the stream today, just check it out on YouTube tomorrow. And uh, the deck will be listed there. I mean, it won't be listed, but I, I always put it up and I talk about the deck before I play it so you can, like, screen cap it at that point or whatever. This guy's just a 2-2 two -two for 1. But, like, in this format, you really want 2-2s two for 2. So maybe 2-2 two -two for 1 is better, but we also may not have many pirates. So... I don't know. Get that... I'm not even green or black. But I do appreciate your, your Celtic commitment there. That's good. I kind of just want this Dusk Legion Zealot here. I feel like it's the best card in this pack. Bonds? Oh, Luminous Bonds is the best card, but I think Black Red is better than White Red. I do agree with you that it is the best card. I kind of don't want to mix colors, though. I kind of just want Daring Buccaneer. I'm just going to stick the Daring Buccaneer. Oh, now we get Forerunner of the Coalition. Or we can get Goblin Trailblazer. It's probably just Trailblazer. We only have one Goblin right now. Or one Pirate right now. Plus, this is like one of the better red two drops, if not the best red two drop. Hmm. Squ Swaggering Corsa. We could just be mono red right now. All these cards are good. Hunt the Week is very good, but I don't think this looks like a red green deck. Everyone in chat is someone that needed to be 10 minutes ago. Oh my god. You guys, oh man, your commitment is unparalleled. I feel like it's just going to be Swaggering Corsair here. I'm exactly where I was supposed to be 10 minutes ago. That's good. That's actually very good. Dead Eye? It could be Dead Eye. I don't feel like it's worth going into a second color though. I think it's the best card in the pack, but I don't think Swaggering Corsair is that much farther behind. And I also don't feel like it's worth going into blue because of that. Because, like, look, there's no blue cards here, so I'd rather just take this other Corsair. And then just have a bunch of good cards to... Like, now we just have a bunch of pirates, so this guy's probably a one-mana a one -mana guy. This red has been very good. Oh, the other Daring Buccaneer? Dubs Buccaneers? 
One drops dot deck. Okay. Super late squires the ocean, yeah, but I'm not a big this, this this guy shouldn't even still be in the pack. I like Voracious Vampire here though. Even though we don't have any vampires. I think this is still the best card in the pack. I don't like Suncaller Raptor at all. First live, Frank. <laughs> Fantastic. I like to be live pretty frequently. I'm going to take this. I get, it's, uh, I'm going to take this guy. I think black red is better than white red. And um, they're both vampires. So I actually kind of like recover, especially if we get summoner back. I think it's better than freebooter. And I'm pretty sure we can get more freebooters. Whatever, I'll just take soul here. What up, Unseen Spectre? Oh, Dusk Legion Zealot came back? Yes, please. All right, now we're getting somewhere. This guy's just a worse swaggering Corsair. Kind of. I guess you don't need raid, but still. I guess we'll take this this swamp. This deck looks great so far. I'm actually impressed with these toll picks. They all seem playable. Neckbreaker is actually fantastic for our deck, but Tender Shoot Dryad is fantastic for life. Plus, I imagine we'll get a Moment of Craving, a Bombard, or a Dusk Charger back. Wow. I have no idea what to take here. I don't know what to do. It is probably Neckbreaker, as much as I want this, because it's so much easier to to play in our deck, because all we have to do is put it in the deck. I don't think Neckbreaker will come back, I'm going to be honest with you. I also, we don't have no, no way to splash this so far. Oh, God. Oh, Dryad does win drafts. You're not wrong. I think it's Dryad. I think it's Dryad. I don't feel great about it, but I think it's Dryad. And we get a Bombard? Okay. I'm not going to take Evolving Wilds over Bombard in case, before you guys even say it. Also, we have a Recover, which means we have Double Tender Shoot Dryad, which is pretty good. I knew it. I knew when you guys were going to be like, take the Evolving Wilds, and I'd be like, no. The Double Summoner deck? That seems good. Good old Bombard. Yeah, this is the only card I can even consider picking in this pack. Oh my god, I, if the Neckbreaker comes back, dude, if, if the if the Pirate Neckbeard comes back, I will be so impressed. <sighs> so here's the thing about this card. I don't think we'd be playing it. But I'm not going to play a second one of these guys when we have two Swaggering Corsairs. I'm not going to be playing a Gruesome Fate. And I'm not going to be playing a third one of this or a second one of this. So I think we just take this. And maybe it's like a strong top end for us. I think that's fine. I think it's better to have than any of the other cards, so. I think border, so here's the thing, right? If you have another pirate, you're usually able to attack, right? So having another pirate means both of these are going to be turned off. Like, you're going to be able to raid this guy, and you're not going to be able to take damage from this guy. But if you don't have a pirate, this guy's just always a 3-3. I think we're taking this Needletooth Raptor. Because of course we are. Our deck's looking pretty busted right now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's just Mastermind's Acquisition. We can put a forest in our sideboard and then search for it with a... If we need it. 
I also don't hate Grasping Scoundrel to keep like an aggressive... Uh... I'm going to take the Grasping Scoundrel, actually. I like Hunt the Weak, but I'm not going to splash two green cards, let alone maybe one. Or one green card, let alone two. Is that That's how the saying goes, right? Yeah, this guy is definitely too slow. So, so we're dead. <laughs> yeah, this guy's pretty good. All right. Daring Buccaneer number three. Really? Really? Okay. Well, now we're taking it. Evolving Wilds. That's a good one. Eh, this guy's fine, especially with two Raptors. Maybe it's got haste. Our deck's basically done. Deck looks busted. 03 incoming. Exactly. 1,000% that. Another Corsair? Recover seems very good in this deck because you have double Raptor, Tender Shoot Dryad, double Summoner. I did not see. I did not see the Neckbreaker come back. This guy's also just a 3 3 for 3 when we have Triple Daring Buccaneer and a Grasping Scoundrel. And double trailblazer. Like, there's no chance we don't have a pirate for this guy. Eh, this guy's actually fine. I like having a little cutie in our deck. A little dumpling, if you will. Wow, Star of Extinction, huh? Hmm. Here's another 2-2 two -two for one. I really like Unfriendly Fire here. I like Vanquish the Weak as well. What do you guys think? I do like Fire Around with Needletooth Raptor. I guess he's main deckable at this point. Yeah, the, the Shuffler is listening. You're not wrong. Vanquish over Unfriendly Fire? I think Fire is just ridiculous. Like fire sh I've, I've shot people in the face with Fire so many times. Which is a really funny thing to say. That's a hell of a quote right there. Yeah. This guy's fantastic. Scoundrels is fine. I think it's just Fire Cannon Blast. We have 17 guys, so I don't really feel bad about taking any removal. I think we can take Voracious Vampires out. We have enough 3 drops, and we also don't have any Vampires for the target. I think it's Blast. I'm I'm really reluctant to uh, to cast Scoundrels just because they end up killing it. Really, swashbuckling. Interesting. I'm gonna go with Blast. I feel better about Blast. We already have enough creatures. Like, I don't really feel like we need more creatures. Walk the Plank and Contract Killing? Pirates you control get plus one, plus oh. Whenever it deals combat damage, that player discards a card. This seems like the perfect card for this deck, despite not having rule. That seems pretty good with the Triple Daring Buccaneer and uh, Double Trailblazer and everything else. So I'm gonna take this Flagship. And hope that other things come back. I actually like Wily Goblin here because the treasure actually helps us cast Tender Shoot Dryad. And it's like if it's if we have flagship out, it's a two one, which is fine. Oh, Pirates Cutlass? Yeah, I always dude, I always miss Pirates Cutlass every single time. So thank you guys for pointing that out. Really appreciate it. It's like just a card, it's just an innocuous card. Like I just see it as like a, the worst. I see it as one of those those crappy common equipments, so I just I, I overlook it all the time. Oh, here's a pirate. 
The source you can hold your damage to a permanent player until it's done with that damage. Oh, that's that's not bad, but seven mana is not where I want to be. I think it's just other Wily Goblin. What if we actually, like, what if we go mono red and just splash the Tender Shoot Dryad? Fiery Cannonade kills, like, none of our creatures. Which is actually pretty insane. I'm just going to take this Fiery Cannonade because it's really good. I don't know. This guy, this guy being a 1-1 is really sad. It does kill Dryad. You're not wrong. Ryle for Needle Tooth. Actually, I kind of like Ryle a lot for needle for double Needle Tooth Raptor. I don't think we're playing it. If we can get any of those one ones uh, for one mana back, that would be pretty insane because then our deck gets just real aggressive, especially with Flagship and Cutlass. What up, Dan? Good seeing you, buddy. I mean, that's why we're keeping the field, the fire candidate in the sideboard, but the problem is cutting four cards and we go down to 20. Unknown Shores is just bad fixing. I'm just going to take the Deep Root Champion. I'm not going to play un Unknown Shores. Like, we would just put Swaggering Corsair in over Fathom Fleet Border. And we have to cut one anyway, so we can just cut Scoundrel. And now we need two cards to replace this, and it's basically just... Doesn't Field of Ruin kill any land? Or is it only non-basic? It feels weird that it'd be only non-basic, because you're letting them get a basic land. So, if you just target a basic, they just get another basic, right? That seems weird. Like, because they're always replacing their basic land, right? So, there's no harm in killing their basic land to replace a basic land. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now, now we're talking. Eh, I'm just going to take... Eh, Cobbled Wings is actually probably fine here. Sailor of... This is a late Sailor of Memes. Wow, that is really late. Another Wily Goblin. How many How many Wily Goblins is too many? That's better than Dusk Legion Zealot, I think. Wow, is this our deck? Double Wily Goblins for, for green. We have Pirate's Pillage for green. Look, we even got this forest last pick. So we can go Evolving Wilds, one forest. This deck looks redonkulous. Five one drops, all of which are two twos except for this guy. How many pirates do we have in this deck? Like a million? I like that these wily goblins are pirates too. We have 12 pirates, that's pretty insane. We also have a double summoner flagship. This deck looks fantastic, dude. This could be a 16 land deck. I don't like Cannonade only because it does kill our summoners, their creatures, and the Dryad. So like all of our like things. But I can definitely see boarding it in. Like if we board this in, we can just, I, like I like having the option. It is the tenderest of Dryads. Oh my god, what was that one quote? I can't think of the quote. 
It's probably because I never said it, so it's not. It's just. It's just not a thing I said. Juposhi, take it easy, buddy. Always a pleasure. Sixteen land and silver dad. We're definitely not doing that. Also, these guys ramp us too. I think we can do six, sixteen land and a rile for the stupid needle tooth raptors. But my question is like, how many other creatures are good with rile? I think it's like none. I think these are the only two creatures we hit. I think we just want 17 lands. Yep, 1 and 15 seems about right. That is a good point. If we have a Dryad, you'll never need to cast a Cannonade because you already won. <laughs> Fenadrod, what's going on, buddy? This is early, right? This isn't late. This is early. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I don't. I. I. I'm so reluctant to do 16 lands all the time because I don't feel comfortable with it. And there's no cards I'm really excited to. Like the only red cards we have are Ryle and Horncrest, and I don't want to put any either of those in the deck. So we're just gonna play it like this. What's up, Dench? I have that new Weezer song stuck in my head and I really don't know how I feel about it. Cobbled Wings is an option. You're not wrong. Oh, this is... Look at this one drop, two drop, three drop hand. Man, this is where the magic happens, boy. If Dryad didn't cost five mana, um, I think it would be good enough for standard, but... Uh, definitely keep. In no world do I not keep this hand. Lower this bad boy. Oh, can't do that, huh? Can I raise you? No? I know I can. There we go. All right, that's better. Having some some technical mic difficulties. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable with it either, the Looney Goblin. I, I, I am also not okay with it, but, you know, sometimes you got to... Uh... Oh, another two drop. I will reveal this guy. Dose, dose. Wow, Karn cosplay, huh? Okay. Oh, look at that. I can still crash into your dude. Like a Dave Matthews Band song. Thick boy is at work right now. That dude's got a job. He can't just hang out with me all day and stream. Ooh, Siku play. Thank you so much, man. Welcome back. Eight months in a row. Your commitment is real. I appreciate it. So does everyone else, I think. I imagine everyone else appreciates it, too, because, you know. I'm just going to say, I'm just going to say it's definitely possible. I don't... Oh my god, this deck is gas. Oh, we're just getting the trade here. More like employed boy, am I? <laughs> These headphones literally just fell on the ground and I heard them I heard them fall, like I heard the clack. And I was like, oh, I thought something broke. Oh. Intriguing. Do I just make a 4-1? A 4-2? No, we're just gonna attack and then Corsair. 
let's let's improve our board. Because if we draw a land, we can actually play two dudes. Double cuties. We will be praying tonight. Tonight's gonna be today's gonna be a streaming day. I'm gonna I'm playing this draft. After this, we're gonna play some standard, and then I'm gonna we're gonna pray tonight. I'm really looking forward to that game. That game's been I've been enjoying it. Which is super nice. Like whenever you're playing a game and uh, you actually are enthusiastic about going back and playing more, I think it's a good sign. So Oh, that's unfortunate. Actually, I think we just cutlass here now. Got that one of. All right, so one, two, three. You have four, but you have to like block with everything and we have to kill two dudes. I don't know if that's great. We could just fire cannon blast this guy. <laughs> Robert, my problem is like if I do that, dude, I'm not going to get back till real late, I'm sure. So you just block with everything. I do not eat red meat, which is why I kept wondering why you were like insisting on I don't want to play goblin yet because then I'd have to use it for the candidate. I don't like I don't feel like that does us any, any favors. If we draw it to dryad and we don't hit a fifth land, like I kept wondering why you're trying to sell me on the bison burger. I was like, I mean I'm not gonna get that, but I mean I understand why you like it. So one, two, three, still too big. Guys, I know I can play two dudes. <laughs> I know. Actually, I think it's Summoner and Trailblazer here. Look at this four-color deck. What's going on here? Uh-oh, mutiny. No mutiny. Okay. That's actually fine for us. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're just definitely having the city's blessing. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty gas. So you block there, you block here, and you take one, two, three, four, five, six. Seems okay. I don't know what you're going to have, but it's... That's not it. Neither are any of those. Hunt the Week is good. You get to kill here. No, you don't actually get to kill there because this guy's still in the stack. You get to kill this guy. Oh, you're going to play the, the guy. All right, cool. Boop, 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 boop. So you need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blockers. And you have three. No, you need... Se we, have, we have seven dudes. You need... What happened? What happened to this... Wait, what's going on here? How did they cast both spells? How did they cast Hunt the Week and Merfolk Branchwalker? What the hell? <laughs> um... Wow, so they cast a free hunt the week.
Wow. Wow. That's amazing. All right. Fantastic. Opponent plays two free spells. That's cool. I'm going to bring in this fiery cannonade. That's amazing. I don't even know how that happens. I was like, wait, why is he casting Branch Walker and Hunt the Week? What up, Balthazar? That was so weird, dude. Oh, Sunbird's Invocation is bugged. Good to know. Wow, getting all the cards is utterly broken, dude. Oh, God. That's the worst one drop. It's still not bad as a 3-2, right? Whatever, I'll keep it. Wow. I'm still like, my mind is still blown that they just got the, all the free spells. Give me that one pirate. Give me the one drop. Okay, well. Do I just play this guy on turn one? Feels bad. We have no plays on turn two. I'm going to give it one turn. We miss one point of damage by waiting. But if we get a two drop instead, or, or even the other one drop, it's just so much better. Okay, a mountain. See, this is what happens when you take out a land. You go 16 lands, and then you get mana flooded. Yep, this guy's never going to be able to compete now. Fashionably late to the party, buddy. Oh, tell Astra I said, hey. Oh, look, another X4. Oh, look, another land. Wow, we're doing well. Yep, if this guy was a 2-2, we'd have a 4-2 right now, but... Unfortunately, that is not how the magic world works. Yep, no attacks. All right. Man, who would have thought we'd draw this guy in the, the one dude that we can't play on turn one instead? Wow. And the trash can he goes, okay. Seven lands, guys. Seven lands. Two four three three one four. Fiery cannonade. Yep, lands for days. I mean, I'll trade with a Wayfinder. That seems fine. Sure. 3-3 three, three for a 1-1? One, one. for oh, 3 mana for a 1 mana guy? 3-3 three, three for a 2-2? Two, two? Sure. Deal. Plus the... Uh, if we if we attack with Rigging Runner and they block with 2-4, we can Fiery Cannonade their board, which is pretty nice, but... They're going to a point where they're just going to play... Big, yeah, all right, well. Is 
This is a lot of lands. So if they block, we do a thing. They did not block. <sighs> yep. That's pretty good. Can I try again for science? Like, I mean, if you're going to concede afterwards, cool, but I don't know what you're asking me. Are you asking me if you can play multiple spells off of it and, like... This is very strange. Are you asking for my permission to play multiple things? Like... This is good times. Did not work. I don't understand. Like, why are you trying? Like, what's the point of that? Like, you're just trying to win the game. I mean, but like not not through normal means. I'm trying to win the game through normal means. Like you're just like it's just trying to. I, anyway, I'm not gonna worry about it. Nine out of 16 lands. Pretty amazing. Well, at least this guy's on the bottom of his library now. Another land. Wow. Amazing. Cut one land. Draw all the lands. Seems good. Cobbled Wing seems actually great here. And I'm going to take out the other, uh, the fire cannonade here. Hmm. I have to blow my nose in a second. I'm going to do that now, actually. You guys are going to, I'm going to go away now. Okay, we are back. I'll say yes. Oh, now we get to... All right, sure. This hand's great if we can hit lands, but... <sighs> Keep. Who cares? I think you know I'm a wizard, buddy. I think you know I'm a wizard. You're a wizard, Hattie. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, look, it's a land. Ooh. 
One, two, three, four. Next turn we'll have... If we hit a land, it's actually very good. We can go five. Six is Fanatical Firebrand. We make a guy with Summoner is seven, but that still puts us off the... Oh, my God. Well, that is unfortunate. Yep. Hey, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This sh how come this isn't an artifact pirate vehicle? Wouldn't that be sweet? Yeah, you guys know what's up. Sure. We get cobbled wings with this summoner. <laughs> All right, cool. And we're probably just gonna attack for four and make them discard, so. Or three, I guess, because it's not a pirate, so. Bug confirmed. MTGO picking up on your hot mic. Nice. Oh, good times. Pirates didn't have vehicles? Isn't this a pirate vehicle right here? No, oh, I see. Perfect flyer. <coughs> I need happier. Mm -hmm. I'm tempted to just run this guy in there for nothing, for no value. And just to kill this guy. The old two for one. You have two cards. Old Swaggy. Bilbo Swaggins. I don't know why I called him that. It's not a very good name. Also, Raptor would be a great play if we actually hit a land. Guess you're onto my tricks. Incoming negate, you ready? Oh, all right. Trash can bound. Trash can bound, I wish I was. <laughs> really? I was like, yeah, all right. I'll make I'll take that risk. Wow. Sure. I'm just gonna kill this. Mm, okay. Can I get a land so I can summon her here? That would be great. No, I guess not. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, make two guys. That doesn't do anything.
I have one card in hand. Could have actually played Corsair here. I think Corsair was better than Buccaneer. Cor it's either Corsair we get no damage in, or Buccaneer we get two damage in. One, two, three, four, five. We have seven. So if we hit one more land, we're 100% uh, City's Blessing, and it's real good with Summoner in the air. Yeah, we'll just take four here. Really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we attack with everything, we get three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we'll definitely have dudes. I think this is just better. I make three guys, but this dies immediately, so it's just not even good to... Like, it's not even a profitable attack. We have three one ones. Whereas, like, next turn we can actually put the float on this guy and then just be way ahead. Also, they have no real good attacks here with... Two, three, four, six, seven. I keep worrying about, like... Big big dinosaurs, but they clearly don't have them if they have night out and they haven't played them. So, uh, I'm really wishing I had our uh, fanatical firebrand at this point. So we just attack, they just go 2-4 on, they get 2-2-5 two, 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 on 1-1, one, 2-4 one. Two, on 2-2, two, 1-4 two. One, on 1-1 one, one probably, 2-2 two, two, two on 2-2. Two, two. So everything gets blocked. It just doesn't feel like a good attack. This card, if they just didn't draw their second sun-crested pterodon, I think we'd be in great shape here, but alas, they did. Yeah, I don't like an attack here either. This is where they draw their luminous bonds and put it on our needle tooth raptor. Yep, that's a big dude. We're not playing a dude. I'm not going to play this guy as a 2 2. Like, there's just no reason for it here. Like, it's just such better value as a 3 3. It's, such a, it's, a, better, it's a better card as a 3 3. Yep, keep on hitting those lands. Maybe we should have played it there just because they had a 6-6. Six, six. What up, Chris? I had a dream last night that you came to visit Seattle but you didn't hang out with me because you were too busy. Chris, I would never go to an FNM over hanging out with you. Never. Interesting. This is how we're doing it here. What's up, Jeff?
I mean, might as well make two, right? No, actually, not making two. We're just attacking for one, because it's just going to get blocked, so we'll just play both cards in our hand. I had to check and make sure Summoner wasn't wasn't legendary. Clearly not. Oh god, here we go. Yep, only a matter of time. I don't think they gave us the game by any means. Like, their, their board is still pretty aggressive here. I guess we do have blockers. Like, we can just make blockers. We make enough guys each turn to block, hopefully. But we still have to block this guy. <laughs> Sure, New Horizons is fine. Yep, that's pretty good. I mean, the, the second summoner is pretty much nothing. Now I'm at a point where I'm just like, okay, give me all the lands you can. We don't actually have another card to discard, so I guess we're just making dudes here. If we attack for everything, one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Now they'd have two blocks, so we can just attack with you. Keep up two blockers. Not play. Uh... Yes. I mean, divine verdict is fine because they're going to. Uh... They didn't have a last turn, so I don't think they just drew it off the top. <clears throat> I mean, they had mana for it last turn, so... I mean, 7, 8, 9, 10. They have exactly lethal, so unless they can get rid of both these guys, like, we're... Right, we should be okay. Good games. Oh, got him. Woo. I hate it when they go good games and then they actually kill you. And you're like, oh, you were just preemptively good gaming me. I understand. That's what's known as a pet peeve, ladies and gentlemen. Usually when I assume my, my opponents have things, it's because um, it makes sense at that time. But Divine Verdict just didn't make sense to me because they hadn't played it at any turn previously and they had a ton of mana. So... Uh, this, thing, this hand seems great. One drop, two drop, double course there. Sure. I'm definitely tempted to bring in the Cobbled Wings because I think it's great with Summoner. But... We did not. Yeah, Summoner was great that game. Summoner gave him the business. The bidness, if you will. If you want, that's fine too. Diagraph Sergeant, thank you so much for the sub. 11 months in a row, really appreciate it. Welcome back. Alright, well, that's unfortunate. Hey, you got one forest in your deck? Here, let me give it to you while I put give you these two double red cards. Okay, well, that's... That is your choice, Magic Online. I think Cobbled Wings is better than... Uh, I think it's better than it looks.
Oh, that's a cutie. I mean, at least it gave us something to play. We have not seen the Dryad in three games. Oh, another one. I see. Cool. We are having a good time. Dryad it makes a 1-1 during each player's upkeep. So my upkeep, your upkeep, my upkeep, your upkeep. And then it also... Um, there we go. Now we're talking. And then it also gives them plus 2, plus 2 if you have the City's Blessing. So it's pretty insane. Um, I'll, I'll just block here. Because even if you pump it with like a river's blessing or whatever, it's still fine. Or we can just eat it, I guess. Okay, that was a weird trade. I am fascinated. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. That's not going to happen. I get my swag on, hop out of bed. I have no idea what just happened there. All right. Cobbled Wings is going to come in because they're a stupid green deck. I have no idea what just happened. Our deck is gas, and we had a and we had a, a a summoner's invocation mix up. Is that what that thing called? Sunbird's invocation mix up. How about a bed? I turn my swag on. Yeah, I imagine they thought that it couldn't. My guy couldn't block, and I was just like, "No, nah, dude, it can." I don't know. I don't know what you're what your thoughts were, so I can't. There's no take these back seas, unfortunately. I can't, I'm not going to take two damage, so. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm just going <laughs> to... So, Fenodroid made a thing. And it's pretty good. We got a little Karn meme here. It says Frank way rated. Way way rated. What is what is what is that? Um, target player exiles meme. Exile target meme. Create a new way with all the memes exiled by Frank. That's <laughs> I cost fifteen mana. That's ridiculous. That's too much mana. No one's ever gonna play with me because that's too much mana. Give me one drop. <gasps> oh, oh, we're going. We're having a go at it now, boys. Bacchus's, thank you so much, man. Glad glad to hear it. Appreciate it. Welcome to the to the liveness, as they say. Oh, what didn't you miss, man? That game was uh pretty ridiculous.
So we can play this guy on two, this guy on three, and this guy on five. I think we're going to do that. You speak really slow at 1x speed. I apologize for that. That is, uh, but that's good though. You want me to speak slow at 1x because then if I spoke faster at 1x, then when you watch me at 1.5x, it's just miserable. At least that's what I would assume. Dang it. Now that dude's got float. I'll give you bona fide eleven. Oh, oh, oh. That's a that's a Chromeo song. We're just gonna play Evolving Walls and crack it. In anticipation for our our Tenderoni next turn. Tenderoni is a song by Chromeo, that's why that's in my head. That's funny. I'm pretty sure I just attack and and trade. If they want. Boy, oh boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I like that we're playing a blue-green deck, so the odds of them having a way to deal with that is slow is is slighter. Slighter? F lesser? Lower? Lower, we'll go with lower. Yeah, we're just gonna take this. We can trade if you want to. You can leave those blocks behind. Because if your creatures don't block, if they don't block, well, they're no dudes of mine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll have eight. Oh, Clamageddon, get wrecked. You didn't actually get wrecked because you corrected yourself, so. You got un you wrecked yourself and then you got unwrecked, so that's good. Do I ever play Legacy or Vintage? I love Vintage. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Legacy, but I would play Vintage more often if uh, if I knew there was desire for that because I think that the format's super fun. Oh, an Explore guy. Also, I can just put a Cobbled Wings on this like Sapperling and never have to worry about one of these guys again. Oh, they're getting aggressive. One, two, three, four. I'll just take six here because I don't because I don't care. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We actually play Pirates Pillage next turn, get the city's blessing. And then we're in good shape. Oh, and friendly fire is also good. And I'll just get City's Blessing right now. I would be if if someone donated for me to play Legacy, I'd probably play Legacy, but I actually don't enjoy the format that much. Um so one, two, three, four. Pitch the land. We have three mana. We can go Cobbled Wings. Play Cobbled Wings. Vintage is super fun. I agree. You like that I kept the green up? <laughs> oh, good. Two lands. I'll give you bona fide 11. Oh, oh, oh. I don't plan on attacking here, so. I'm just going to build the board a little bit. I do have the cards to play vintage, yes. How much would you need to donate for me to play Lantern? It's probably in the thousands. Oh, that's rude. That is rude. Main deck naturalize. Wow. Well, I don't think that's going to save you. I'm just going to unfriendly fire this guy now, but... That was rude. Wow, Dan is going to unsub if I play Lantern. I'll unsub myself if I play Lantern. How about that? All right. Alright. 
I guess we can start beating in there, especially with an unfriendly fire. Oh, no blocks. I can't help but wonder if we attack last turn and they didn't block, if we could have un unfriendly fired their face. Make another dude. This card is unbelievable, dude. Three threes every turn, huh? If you guys... I actually did a new thing. Um, you guys can check out my page. Check out the Twitch page. Check out my, my Twitch page. And uh, I actually am taking donations for, like, if you want me to play through... Like, I'll play through your deck in a league. Uh, I'll give you criticism on it, and I'll give you feedback. And, you know, the video will go up on YouTube, so if you miss the stream or whatever. Uh, I'll also do draft stipulations for a price. That's not to say I won't do them by, like, if you guys are just like, hey, do this draft and do this stipulation and we have no way to do it. Like, I have nothing else to do. I, that's not to say I won't just do it. But if you guys definitely, like, want to support and, like, want to donate and want to do a draft stipulation, I put that under there, too. So, you know, just a little extra feature, like, if you guys want me to do that. Because, like, I, I don't know if the price point is exactly where I want it to be. Um, because it's not, it's just something I don't want people to, um, I don't want people to just flood me with things, especially because we have, um, we probably should have just taken two and gone ham. But if they have a counter spell for this, it's whatever. Like, then they would have countered anyway, so. Because it's also like I'm playing three to four hour. Oh, I guess. All right, cool. Uh, I'm also playing like the, the league is going to take like two to four hours, depending on how long it goes. You know, I'm giving you criticism. I have to get the cards. The entry fee is 10 bucks alone. So I, I felt like that was a fair price, but. That was the whole match. Oh, yeah, because game one was a bloodbath. Wow. All right. I do like one free for anyone subscribed for a year or more. That's pretty sweet, actually. That's a good idea, Jeff. Alan, what's going on, buddy? Uh, I would definitely play a vintage list for, for list for 50. That actually seems uh, more fun than playing a, like a modern or standard list, to be quite honest. A real pirate from your hand. What if we play this guy on two and then we draw Tenderoni? Just woke up from a nap and it was amazing. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, that's a good draw. Oh, that's a real good draw, actually. Oh, we're going to get aggressive here. <laughs> One free for every year. So Chad's like, yeah, I'll just take my four now. What do I do here? Do I go Wily Goblin into Rigging Runner, or do I just play Wily Goblin, or just play Rigging Runner? I think it's Goblin into Rigging Runner. I'm not going to play around drawing Tenderoni here. That doesn't make sense. Because next time we're going to be playing this guy, so I'd rather just get five power on the board on turn two. Pretty good turns one and two. I'm like, yeah, this is like basically constructed, I guess. Uh, am I playing on streaming Hearthstone? Oh, God, I really want to stream Hearthstone. I just never know when to do it. I actually am tempted to now that the nerfs are in effect because now I don't have to worry about patches or, you know, corridor creepers or whoever. I'm actually not much of a commander player.
Uh, if you submit a deck to me, you can definitely pick if you if I if I play it in friendly or competitive. I usually just play friendly anyway because I'm just testing the de decks out, and I think the the payout for friendly is better. So if I go like if I go three two in a friendly, I'm getting I'm basically getting my entry fee back, which is worth it for me because of how many events I do. But I mean, I can definitely do either depending on you know what what someone wants. So if we attack with everything, they block here. They take three, four, five, six, seven. They go to six. Otherwise, they block here and take five instead. Well, they though they just I don't think they put anything on top just because it wasn't gonna do anything for them here. Yep, that seems fine. So you block here, you take two, three, four, five. That's pretty good. That's pretty annoying. So you block here, you take two, three, four, five. You go to three, and then you block here and take three. I think this is worth it putting you to three here, especially because it makes unfriendly fire alive. Also, if we draw, like, the goblin, we can shoot the raptor, kill your guy, and attack for a bunch. It seems pretty good. All right, that'll do. <laughs> so we are going to take out a land again and bring in the Cobbled Wings. I don't know why we just didn't do this, but nevertheless, Cobbled Wings OP apparently. What's the best way to contact me? Jeff, you can just contact me at Facebook. Like, that's not a problem. Like, you know how to get old of me, so. For anybody else, like, feel free to just contact me on Twitch. That seems fine. Yeah, Mono Red with one Tender Shoot Dryad. Alan, you really missed the doozy. This is a... Mountains are my favorite land, so. Oh my... I don't like this hand at all, unfortunately. This guy's great, but... I'll keep the same exact hand, I guess. Oh, that was a great draw, little cutie! Little cutie, what are you doing, little cutie? This is a little cutie song. I don't think there is a command to see all quotes, which is really interesting. I feel like we should write them down somewhere. Is our opponent just missing black? Oh, four blue, huh? Run aground? Oh, rig hauler with nothing. <gasps> oh my god! Can you guys... Appreciate what just happened here. Whew. Whew. Wow. 
Wow, that was a good draw. That was a solid draw. They can't contract killing. They can vanquish, though. Oh, I bet they have vanquish in hand. Why is Tender Shoe Dryad Sum good? I don't know. How can how can one card be Sum good? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now we get the city's blessing immediately. Don't have to play anything. The second sapperling will do it for us. Blessings. Oh my god. Now we can just unfriendly fire this guy and and go ham. Oh boy. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. There's a Mike B quote where he said there there was a sweat and then the epic. <laughs> Cuz that's amazing. All right. Well, this was a this is a fun two games. Like what do you even if you kill this guy right now? Like, come on. Yeah, that guy's not going to do it. That was good times. One nineteen. Wow. Wow, our power went out. We came back and our game is gone because they had golden demise. That's amazing. Why did I get this forest? I don't know. We have no other green cards in our deck. Yeah, that was amazing. Okay. How about Summoner here? Daring Buccaneer? All right. Well, wow. Golden Demise when we have Tender Shoot Dryad on board. That is unfortunate. Why doesn't it make three? Why doesn't it just make three threes when you have the city's blessing, right? Like, yeah. That is unfortunate. Bad times. Yeah, I feel like this stream died because they played Golden Demise and it killed all my things. And the stream was like, oh my god, I can't handle this. Uh, no blocks. I assume you're raiding something here. Okay. Sure. Oh, uh, Mike Cool. Sure. You got it. We have 27 quotes. You guys are going crazy with these quotes, man. That is not, this is not an okay amount of quotes, just to be clear.
Cold wings. I have no idea how this keeps happening. Wow. That's so There epic. was a sweat and then the epic. That <laughs> there was a sweat and then the epic. Oh, that's gas, dude. How did we hit cobbled wings every team? Every time, every team, every team, we hit cobbled wings. I don't understand. What do you have here? I'm just taking two. I I have no desire to get hit with like a skull duggery or something. Okay, one, three. Oh, that'll just win us the game. Our deck is good. There was a... Qu oh! All right. Should have put it on here, actually, because then they take two in the air and then they have to block this guy. That would have been a better attack. They'd be at three, though, so now either one of these guys is lethal, so maybe maybe not, actually. I think it's 50-50. I actually don't think it's 50-50. I think the statistics are much more complicated than that. Uh, but now we won, so good games. See what they say. Wow. Tender Shoot Dryad into Golden Demise into just a Cobbled Wings on a Swaggering Corsair. That's pretty good. Is my mic still working? Just making sure. Okay. Because it'd be pretty awkward if it wasn't if it like stopped working after the power flickered. I was on audio and probably should have. Ca oh wow! They had the negate for the cobbled wings, but they just f six through it. Oh wow, that's crazy. Yeah, taking this guy was definitely the better choice over the Pirate Lord. That's not to say... Because we didn't even end up black, right? So, cool. All right. On YouTube, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. Both of those help me out a ton. And I'll see you guys next time. So, really appreciate it.